Hello. In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Suppose a and b are real numbers where a is greater than zero. Then there is a unique pair of numbers, an integer n and a real number r, such that b is equal to n a plus r, and zero is less than or equal to r is less than a. Now in proving this theorem, we are going to use the following preliminary result. For every real number x, there is a unique integer m such that m is less than or equal to x, which is less than m plus 1. m is sometimes called the floor of x. Okay, so now let's get into proving this theorem. Now first, we want to show that there exists a pair of numbers, an integer n and a real number r, that satisfy these two conditions. And then we want to prove that the pair that we found is unique. So there's essentially two portions to this proof, existence and uniqueness. So let's start with existence. So in the existence portion, we want to find a pair which satisfied these two conditions. So to start, let's apply this fact by taking x to be the real number b over a. Well then, there is a unique integer m such that m is less than or equal to b over a, which is less than m plus 1. And then let's take this inequality and multiply a on all three sides. Since a is greater than 0, the sign of these inequalities will remain the same. So if we do that, this is what we get. But notice, this will just expand out to ma plus a. Next, let's just subtract ma on all three sides. If we do that, we get 0 is less than or equal to b minus ma, which is less than a. Now remember, in the existence portion, we want to find a pair of numbers, an integer n and a real number r, which satisfy these two conditions. Well. Let's take n to be m and r to be b minus ma. Well then, we can show that these two conditions hold. To see that this condition holds, well notice, we can take this, add and subtract ma. Just like that. But really, we know that m is equal to n b minus ma is equal to r. So this entire thing is just equal to na plus r. And this shows that b is equal to na plus r, which is what we wanted. And this second condition holds immediately because we know that b minus a is equal to r. So this inequality just says 0 is less than or equal to r, which is less than a. So the second condition holds as well. So we have found a pair which satisfies these two conditions. And so this completes the existence portion. Now let's move on to the uniqueness portion. In the uniqueness portion, we want to show that the pair of numbers n and r that we took is the only pair which satisfy these two conditions. How do we prove that? Well, let's suppose we have another pair which satisfies these two conditions. Let's call them n prime and r prime. The whole goal of the uniqueness portion is to show that n is equal to n prime and r is equal to r prime. That will prove that our choice for n and r are the only pair which satisfy these two conditions, and that will complete the proof. So, to start out, notice we can take this equation, subtract n prime a to the other side, and we get that r prime is equal to b minus n prime a. So, let's take this inequality, substitute r prime for b minus n prime a. So, we get this. Well then, we can add n prime a on all three sides of the inequality, and we get 
this. In fact, let's just factor out an A from the rightmost side. So we get n prime plus 1 times A. Well then, we can divide A on all three sides of this inequality. And since A is greater than 0, the sign of the inequalities will remain the same. So we're going to get n prime is less than or equal to b over a, which is less than n prime plus 1. But now let's remind ourselves that m is the unique integer which satisfies this inequality. What that means is, is that m is the only integer such that this inequality is true. Well, we just found another integer such that this inequality is true, namely n prime. Therefore, n prime must be equal to n. And we know that m is equal to n. So we've shown that n prime is equal to n. All that's left to show is that r prime is equal to r. Well, we know that r prime is equal to b minus n prime a. And we know that n prime is equal to m but b minus ma is precisely equal to r. So r prime is equal to r. So we've shown that n prime is equal to n, and r prime is equal to r. And so this completes the uniqueness portion. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.